Hello, and welcome to this drum lesson for This Charming Man by The Smiths. So, great tune this, probably say that every time, but it's a song and it's great. So let's get right into this intro, the intro bit. Now, this could be splitting people's minds across the country. <laughs> uh, I know I've played it a bunch of times live, and sometimes, if you don't quite get the intro right, it can go a bit weird. So, here is the way that I do it. Um, and it's, yeah, it's a tricky one because the guitar part is very intricate. So, whether he means to do this or not, if you want to count it, it's basically quite simple. It's a bar of 4-4, four, four, and then it's a bar of 7-8. So it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And what you do is, you on the 7, you're hitting the backbeat of, of the previous bar. So it's like 7-1. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, and then that's your that's your one, and you're in straight into the verse. That's the way I do it. Um, so yeah, it's kind of it's if you're playing this live, I would say the best way to do it is to count those those eighth notes, um, and you kind of uh, now when I play it, I won't I won't sort of count first bar I can sort of like it's sort of it's sort of when the when the riff kind of picks up into an eighth note feel then count the seven seven eighths seven eighths seven one and that works okay so into the main pattern which basically runs through the whole song uh, we're at kind of a quarter note groove thing and we're doing kicks, it's a two bar phrase, kicks on one and three, and four and on the first bar. Then on the second bar, one and and three. So slowly it'd be this. Faster. That's the pattern. Now, in the verses, what he does is, uh, it's a little, there's not really a uh, a running theme to this, but what he does do is every four bars, not every four bars, but, but in a, a four bar phrase, on the last beat four, there'll be an open hat and then a crash on the one. Now, as I say, there's no kind of real pattern to this. Sometimes it's every four bars, sometimes it's every eight bars um, in the verse. And the ver first verse is the second, different through the second. But what it does do really well is leave space for the vocals to kind of breathe. Because obviously those vocals are really intricate as well. And putting crashes every four bars kind of overlaps on those vocals. It's probably because you're so used to hearing the track where the crashes are. But the gaps are placed really well. Um... So have a listen out for that. There's no real pattern to that. It's kind of, I think on the first verse, it's like every four bars and then it's eight bars and then it's four bars and then it's eight bars again. And the second verse is more like just every four bars and then one eight bar thing. Um, the only other bits are, there's some little cheeky flam, there's a little cheeky flam bit um, in the kind of core, en end of the chorus bit. Um, I'll just play it for you and then we'll have a look at it. Um, 
and there's a lot of those pushes in it. There's a, that little gap as well. So there's little chokes. Yeah, so little flam, little flam and choke bits. Uh, and that's pretty much the whole song. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you next time. Have a look at my other videos. They're all good, baby.